So here is Arlene as a young starlet. And more recently, they're on the right. So we're gonna go up and see her, see if she can see me. She was 105 yesterday. When I sang at Carnegie Hall, that's what I looked like. Yeah. Yeah. When you sang at Carnegie Hall, let me see it again. You know, you know, you were alive before Carnegie Hall was built. They only built Carnegie Hall in 1904. Oh. So maybe a little while. What year well, were you I, born? I always say, yeah, I did. You know, I sang there, you know that. Yeah, and Shostakovich conducted there, Shostakovich. So you have one of the I do. I have I have a printer at home. I can print them out. And this one's for Mike Duffy. Captain Mike. Mm -hmm. And then I have one at home. I'll bring it back and have you autograph it for me later. So tell me, I wanted to know what you did during the war. What baby? What did you do during the war? During I World traveled War II. with the USO. That's what I thought, I remember. All over the South Pacific, South Pacific. You don't need to wear your mask. I've Everywhere. been vaccinated. Did you get vaccinated? Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and singing, you were singing, right? Absolutely, singing, acting, a little bit of dancing. A little. Uh-huh. But mostly acting and singing. Yeah. All over the place. South Pacific. All over. <laughs> the Philippines a lot. And I, I meet a lot of Filipino girls here. We had a lot of Filipino girls in our church. Yeah. They are beautiful people. You should say to them, Mahal Kita. <laughs> that means I love you. Oh, I know how to say that in every language. Mahal Kita. Mahal Kita. That's it. That's, that's in Filipino. Mahal Kita. Boy, I'd like to take you out on my boat, on my tour. Mm. There's so many things on the Hudson River now. So oh, many wow. new things. I'm proud of you, though. You did the circle line also. I followed in your footsteps. I know. All around. Yeah. Actually, I didn't do too many of those. You know, there's two guys there. Uh, one guy named John and another guy. They're both 84 years old. Oh, well. They're still doing it. Uh, uh, what about, which one is the 84-year-old? I can't remember. I think his name He's was short. John. No, he was a big guy. Oh, oh, then uh, John Keats. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. As old as I am, you know my age. I know. Yep. Oh, well, I'm not worried about anybody knowing it. After all, we all get <laughs> older. That's right. Right, George? Well, I'm 70. Really? Yes. It's unbelievable. I'm 70. That's how old you were when I met you. Oh, my God. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. You're such a joy, honey. Oh, you are too, Arlene. We miss you at church. And there's a lot of things upstairs. I, I have um, pastry and a lot of it. I wish that... I, I could have her take you up there and get it. 
it for you. Oh, you got pastry for it, your it, birthday? No, no, yeah, but it's um, mm, not like cream puffs. <laughs> oh, they're out of this world. Oh, okay, I know what you like. I got your number. Yeah. Um, so did you ever do any television? Mm. Did you ever do any television acting? Mm, a lot. With Ken. Yes. We did a lot. I did a Pepsi commercial. You did a commercial? A Pepsi. Which one? Pepsi Cola. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been making movies. I have about three movies I've done. I'll show them to you some other time. Yes. Yep. And it didn't start happening till I was about 65. Wow. Because I was doing radio before. Mm. But, you know, great inspiration you were. And especially thank you for getting me that job at Circle Line. Yeah. You introduced me to Mike Duffy. Yeah, but you didn't stay with it. Why? I went to another company. I went to a horn blower. I went over to horn blower. Sometimes I did at nine hours instead of just three and then six and nine hours some days. They've got uh, seven brand new boats now. Six million really? dollar boats. Really? Six million dollar boats. Is Mike Duffy still there? That's who you referred me to. That's who you wrote this picture to. That's that's who you wrote this picture to. Is to Mike. I'm giving this to him. Oh, good, good. He's got your picture right above you were his. Telling me above his desk. <laughs> that's right. Yep. So, I mean, things are, things are the same. They're waiting for you to come back. You know, the card he wrote you, you know what he said on the card that he wrote you? He said, to the best guide. Oh, yeah. That was him. Wow. And you've got the card upstairs there. He wrote it out to you. It says, God bless Arlene to the best guide, Mike Duffy. Would you believe that? He's, you've got it upstairs. You've got it upstairs. And then I wrote you out one, too. So I brought you those cards yesterday. Oh, all right. Oh, yep. what, what joy you brought to my heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, you bring because it to I'm me. I'm miserable, honey. Oh, my gosh. What are you going to do? You're going to have, you're going to have to get on the bike. Mm. Ride the bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful lady. This is us. I'm glad they're letting us stay here for a little while. I was here yesterday. I came yesterday on your birthday. Oh. But I was too late. Oh. And they wouldn't let me up. They're very, very strict. The lady that runs this place is Russian, and she runs it like a gulag. I'm oh. just kidding about that. That's, that was mean. <laughs> I didn't mean it. She's a really really protecting her her people really watching out for you well i don't like it here well are you going to go back home you got to go back home then i don't know can you walk the only one well donna is the only one that you know, takes care of me. Larry came over the other day, I heard. Hmm? I heard Larry was here the other day. He, Larry was here the day before he died. 
and he spent some time with me too. He was standing up the whole time next to my bed. I tell you something. You know, you knew his wife, Jean. Yeah, of course. She doesn't believe in God. I know. She doesn't believe in Jesus. I know. Let alone God. I know. I was with the two boys. You should have seen the sermon. You should have, you should have seen the uh, the memorial service. Oh yeah. He gets up there. The <laughs> pastor gets up there and he says, "Larry was a bad man." She said that. The pastor said that. Oh. And he says, "And I'm a bad man." And he says, "You're all bad men, and bad people, until you're saved." Oh, and I, the whole sanctuary was completely. I what she looked like when he was saying. <laughs> I that. would have loved to have seen the expression on her face, but he gave a whole sermon on being saved, and the whole sanctuary was full. Wow! And you know they have a lot of Jewish friends because she's Jewish. Oh, she's Jewish. I didn't know that. She's Jewish. She. That's why. So he gave a whole big long sermon. Wow. But he's he's pretty good, right? Larry's in heaven. Oh, the pastor? I want to start recording him. I want to start getting him on video. Good. Yeah, he's wonderful. I love watching him. And he tells these stories. We're in Samuel. We're in 1 Samuel. Yeah. And he's telling the stories of David before he was king. Oh. 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And he's, I'm loving it. He's a good pastor. I love it. And he has a wonderful family. The kids. He came up here, I heard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. His little boy. They came to the apartment. He's like, wait. This tall. They, they came to the apartment, right? My oh, mom. yeah. Oh. While they were there, he came over. I was sitting on the couch. He comes over, puts his head on my lap. Once, <laughs> he, he came, put his head on my lap, and he's looking at me. And then he moved away for a while. He comes back and he does the same thing. Put his head on my lap. <laughs> those, he's a, he's it, adorable. It doesn't get any better than those kids. He's got four of them. And every single one of them are angels. They are adorable. Unbelievable. Angels. And his wife is this nice and down to earth. Her name is Janice. Janice. Yep. See, for my old lady, I, I can re remember. You don't seem a bit different than you did when I met you 30 years ago. Really? No. I'm not kidding. This is the same person I've known all these years. It's unbelievable. Well, you brought a lot of joy to me today. <laughs> Unexpected joy. Well, I tell you, I had to make you would they, you would not believe what they make you do to get into this place. It's like a government facility. <laughs> yeah, it's. Were they looking for some guns? No, they weren't looking for guns because um, they were looking for germs. Oh, uh, COVID. Right, right. right. Yeah. I wonder if this lady, are you sitting here waiting for us? Yeah. Should we go and I should come back later? No, I don't think so. She says I can come back again. I have five more minutes? Oh, nice. I have more time. She says I have five more minutes and I'll come back. I want to watch the sermon with you on Sunday on the computer. I'll bring my computer and I'll bring, I'll bring headphones so you can put it on your ear. Okay. And you'll be able to hear that way. Oh, all right. I'm wearing a hearing aid now. Oh, is that helping then? Because I'm talking really loud. No, no, it's good. 
How is it working? It works okay? Oh, very, very well. So I don't need to be yelling? <laughs> uh uh. Yep. Cause I'll bring a frame for this. We'll frame this for you. Oh, uh, it's all right. Honey. No, I'm going to frame it. I should have, but I didn't have the time. I was rushing to get over here and. Like I said, I had a stroke two years ago. I'm not walking the best I have ever had. I watched you. No, you're walking very good. Hey, all right. Very good. Excellent. I worked very hard at it because I got to be on the boats. We'll probably start on Labor Day, 29th of May. We'll be out. I'll be out on the water again. And I forgot everything I knew. <laughs> <laughs> No, I I had it really embedded in my head. I know. You could say uh, goodbye in how many languages? Oh, several. Yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. German, French, Italian. How do you say it? Say it. Say it in those languages. Say it where? Say, uh, speak those languages. Say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, adios, hasta mañana, hasta luego. Vaya con Dio. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, anyway. Dos Vidanya. Dos Vidanya. Well, that's our uh, Russian uh, administrator here. Yeah, I used to be able to say it. I think you said it in 30 languages or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Da, 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 da. Yes. Yeah. Adios. Hasta mañana. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dio. Yeah. Ne que mens. Ne que men. Anyway, I did. <laughs> Many. <laughs> I went on and on and on and on. I could say I love you in many languages. Oh. How do you say it in Russian again? Dosidanya. No, I love you. Oh, uh, well, all right. Uh, I forgot. I learned it one time. I forgot. Wait, I, I, I know. Wait. Yote. Uh, uh, uh. or something like that. Hmm? Ibitsky or something like that. I'll ask the Russian lady when she comes back. She probably I went home. I knew it. I, uh, ich liebe dich. In German, ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. And in French, je t'aime. Je t'aime. And in Spanish, yo te amo. <laughs> That's right. You could oh. probably, you know, it probably wouldn't take you back uh, very long to get back in shape again to do the no, tours. No, right. I think you could probably do it. It's embedded, right? It's in, in there. Head. It's you did it for how many years? Whoa. Oh, a lot of years. I heard forty years. Mine was thirty-five. Thirty-five years. Gee whiz! It's a great job. I love it. It's oh. the best job I ever had. Yeah. And all because of you. You got me in there. I know. You introduced me to Mike Duffy, and it was it took me five years for him to hire me. I went in there five years ago, and he finally, you know, he finally put me on. I when they when you got the job, I said, "Boy, they'll have something to look at besides here." <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I was getting hundred dollar tips. Hey. But you said you can't ask for tips. No. No, you don't ask. They just give them they to you. They give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. One guy, he was only hearing me. I was up in the upper deck talking. He told his friend he wanted to marry me. He didn't even hear see me. He just said he wanted to marry me because he loved my voice. Yeah. The hearing voice. I said, what, are you nuts? <laughs> it's all about the voice, Arlene. It's all in the voice. And, and the brains. And remember when you used to go by 79th Street and you'd point out the church? Mm -hmm. Right up here. What was your speech about that? What did you say when you went by? I used to say... Uh, uh, they uh, they should go there uh, huh. uh, because well anyway I didn't tell them why but off the mic I said because I sing there off the mic I said that oh I see
but you you were in the choir you soloed too never soloed you should have i soloed i started soloing i started learning how to solo okay we have to go now yeah we'll go together in the elevator all of us yeah